this lesson, we explore how to write equations to model real-world problems related to exponential growth. Our first example involves bacteria growth. Instead of growing by a constant amount, bacteria grow at a constant rate. A colony of 5,000 bacteria cells on a kitchen counter are increasing 50% per day. How many bacteria cells will there be after 35 days? Well, let's see, 50%, that's the same as 0 0.50. We're starting with 5,000 cells and adding 50% more each day. To see a convenient relationship here, let's go ahead and undistribute that 5,000. We call that factoring. We can simplify this. And we see that after one day, there are 7,500 cells. But we want to figure out how many bacteria cells there are after 35 days. Let's take a look at this expression that we have. We're multiplying 5,000 by 1.5. We'll be doing that every day. And so the 1.5 will be our multiplier. Let's use our multiplier to help us start a table of values. We could continue this process until we get to 35 days. But let's use this example to come up with a more efficient way. Let's develop an equation to help us figure out how many bacteria cells there will be after 35 days. Let's look at this information in a slightly different way to try to come up with this equation that will tell us how many bacteria cells there are after so many days. In the beginning, there are 5,000 bacteria cells. After one day, we've multiplied by 1.5 once. After two days, we've multiplied what we had after one day by 1.5 again. We're going to write this out the long way so we can see a pattern. And that expression will tell us how much we have after two days. Maybe you can see where this is going. So after three days, we've multiplied by 1.5 three times. After two days, we multiplied by 1.5 twice. Well, after four days, we'll have multiplied by 1.5 four times. Well, let's see, we're interested in how many cells there are after 35 days. There must be a better way to do this, and there is. We can use exponents to represent repeated multiplication. On day 4, we have 5,000 times 1.5 to the 4th power, because we're multiplying by 1.5 four times. After 3 days, we're multiplying by 1.5 three times. So we can just raise 1.5 to the third power. After two days, 5,000 times 1.5 to the second power. After one day, 5,000 times 1.5 to the first power. And after zero days, let's see if this pattern holds up. That should be if this pattern holds up. 4, 3, 2, 1 on our exponents. 5,000 times 1.5 to the 0 power. Hmm. Well, anything to the 0 power equals 1. So this is really 5,000 times 1, which equals 5,000. So it works. So let's think about how we can use this to figure out how many cells there are after 35 days. Well, we notice that with each time, each day, the day matches the exponent. After two days, the exponent was two. So after 35 days, 
we'll have an exponent of 35. And we can use our calculator to figure that out. So after 35 days, there are 7,280,548,030 bacteria cells. Let's take a closer look at that equation. The 5,000 is what we started with. The 1.5 is the multiplier. To get the multiplier, it was just one plus the growth rate. And the 35 was the amount of time. The same recipe using the starting value, the multiplier, and the number of time periods can be used in all sorts of exponential growth situations. We can use that same idea in this problem involving many. Seth deposits $200 in a savings account. The account pays 5% annual interest. Calculate his balance after 10 years. All right, the growth rate is 5%. 5% is the same as 0 0.05. So his multiplier will be 1 plus 0 0.05. So we could figure out his balance after 10 years by making a list. But we have a better way of doing the same exact thing. We can write an equation. He begins with $200, and he repeatedly multiplies by 1.05. We want his balance after 10 years, so he's going to multiply by 1.05 10 times. So here's an equation to figure out his balance after 10 years. 200 times 1.05 to the 10th power. balance after 10 years is $325.78. Let's break down the equation one more time. The 200 is what he started with. The 1.05 is the multiplier. We got that by adding 1 plus 0 0.05. And the exponent, the 10, that's the number of years. Any constant percent growth can be modeled by the exponential equation y equals a times 1 plus r to the x power, where a is the starting value, r is the rate of growth written as a positive decimal or fraction, x is the number of time periods elapsed, and y is the final value. Let's try using this recipe or this formula in this problem. Six years ago, Leticia's grandfather gave her a coin collection worth $350. Since then, the value of the collection has increased 7% per year. How much is the collection worth now? Try writing an equation to solve this problem. If you don't know already, now would be a great time to figure out how to use exponents on the calculator you're using. We're just starting on a whole chapter about exponents, so it'd be well worth your time. In this lesson, you learned how to model exponential growth using an equation.